Namaste from India. A very warm welcome to all our listeners to this special program brought to you by Citizen News Service. We are indeed honored to have with us today Fletcher E. T. Chow, an HIV advocate and director of communications at PRA, that is Persons with HIV AIDS Rights Advocacy Association of Taiwan. This is the first non-profit self-help organization that was set up in the country by and for persons with HIV AIDS. Fletcher is also Asia Pacific board member of Y Plus Global. His work focuses on HIV policy monitoring, community-led research, and communications of rights of persons with HIV. Welcome, Fletcher. We are very happy to have you with us today. Thank you, Shafat, and thank you for having me here. Uh, Fletcher, with only 90 months left to achieve the UN Sustainable Development Goals, one of which is to end AIDS by 2030. Uh, where does Taiwan stand in terms of the 95, 95, 95 goals? Yeah, so currently Taiwan in 2022 last year, um, our um, currently status for that is 90, 95 and 95. So we're uh, doing pretty great on treatment and, and also the treatment virus suppression part. But uh, for the uh, testing, there is still 10% that we need to go uh, a bit more to reach the goal. Uh, and about viral load suppression? Yeah, viral load suppression is uh, among those who already been treated with HIV, uh, ART, 90% uh, of them are uh, reached on detectable viral load in Taiwan. Okay, uh, so can you please explain briefly what is undetectable equal to untransmittable? That is what we call U equal to U. And why is it a critical component of HIV programming? Yeah, sure. So um, for uh, audience who don't know uh, U equals U before, just like Chapa mentioned, it stands for two words. The first U is undetectable, means your viral law is undetectable. And the second U is untransmittable. So it means the situation that when the people living with HIV, when the person living with HIV has has a don has a undetectable viral law, he or she cannot transmit the virus sexually to an to his sexual partner. So it is it is a scientific evidence that has been recognized uh, by WHO, UNAIDS, and US CDC, et cetera. So these means that uh, people living with HIV take who take regular treatment can reach this virus suppression uh, to a certain level, which uh, for most of the study nowadays, they use the uh, threshold of 200 copy per meal grams, uh, per, per meal, sorry, per meal. And if you are uh, having a viral load with lower or equal to 200 copy meals, um, then you are undetectable, it, which means that you are not able to sexually transmit it, the virus to your sexual partner. And the, the, the critical component of, it, of U equals U to HIV program is that it actually can reduce the stigma around HIV, not, not just against um, the general society, but also the internal stigma that some, um, some of our community might withhold on themselves because they think uh, carrying this virus means something that not good to them. And this information getting out to people uh, living with HIV also keep people living with HIV healthy. And this is a very simple message uh, for a general population to understand HIV cannot be transmitted if you take uh, proper treatment. Okay. That's a very important point you have raised, Fletcher, that uh, apart from treat, uh, treatment being uh, equal to prevention in this case, it is also reducing stigma, which is very much there and which uh, very often prevents people from going in for treatment uh, and leading a normal life. Uh, so exactly. are, there, uh, are there any challenges being faced in Taiwan in making U equal to U a reality for persons with HIV? Uh, and if there are challenges, what is being done to overcome them? Yeah, I think uh, 
for challenge um, for people to reach uh, undetectable viral load, just like we mentioned, um, it, it is the stigma that stop people from going for testing or even they are tested positive going into treatments and taking a very stable treatment afterwards. The stigma is always around that and we hope that U equals you can address that. And our experience having the U equals U day in Taiwan and is, is hope that this concept can be um, like being reached by more, more of the population in the society. Because I think more of the times we focus on key population, but if we really want to destigmatize this um, or normalize the disease, then we need to reach the general population to let them know this is, uh, we, we are treating the disease. We are not treating people with the disease uh, differently uh, just because of some ethical issues. Okay, I, I really echo your words when you say that it has the message has to reach the general population as well, which is because the stigma comes very often from the general population. So mm -hmm. they need to be reached. You are very right there. Uh, uh, Fletcher, what do you think more needs to be done at the global level to make you equal to you a successful program? Okay, um, I think um, like for for our experience, we are lucky uh, this awareness initiative uh, can be supported by Gilead, so we can launch this uh, quite a big uh, awareness campaign this year to have the media coverage locally and also regional uh, with some of the partner like Youth Lead, uh, YKP Networks, uh, and also international partners such as Y Plus Global, UNAIDS, Asia Pacific, and Prevention Access Campaign, who have been doing a lot of advocacy around U equals U. And I think um, what we can do is that maybe, I think there are a lot of different um, things that we can do. And one way is to do it in, in, in a creative and funny way. And because a lot of time the disease education tend to be more serious, and the general society maybe just skip it because they don't think that this is something related to them and it's not really interesting. So along with this year, uh, our uh, U equals U then campaign, we also create and social media, a uh, social experience media, a video, which we invite celebrity to go on street to invite people to put their hands into boxes and we cover the box. So they will touch something like spider toy or something that you might find scary when you do not see what is inside. But once you see what is inside, it's nothing to you. And it's the same idea for HIV and AIDS and also you equals you. That covered box is like HIV and AIDS. When you see it, you don't see what's inside. You will be afraid. You will be scary. And But once you see inside the you equals you message or the prevention tool, you can have like PrEP or PEP those information can really um, like, um, like clear out your scares uh, around this issue. Okay. Uh, any final messages or thoughts which you would like to share? Yeah, so, um, so for Taiwan, U equals U, day uh, U, U equals U Day campaign, we set it on 2nd of July, and it's actually based on the local context where uh, back in 2021, like two years ago, uh, our local regulation has amended U equals U definition into one of our uh, um, criminal re uh, criminal related regulations. So uh, before that, even people is undetectable, they are not able to be, um, uh, they, are, they, are, they are still being threatened and they could be taken into criminal situation. But after uh, the amendment of the regulation on 2nd of July, 2021, it means that if you are undetectable, then you are not, uh, as a, a, a criminal that um, might be charged by the authority. So it, it is a very local context for us. And it's also a very remarkable, remarkable day for us. So we set it on 2nd of July and we hope that um, by doing more of this, um, because the criminalization law still exists and we think that criminalization law still perpetuates some of stigma against HIV. So long-term goal that we wanna remove or abolish this uh, criminalization law. But for now, um, to reach that goal, we want to set the basis for general population that people know this is a disease that can be controlled. People know this is disease that you can take treatment and just uh, leave, um, um, 
a life like people without the virus. And it also echoes back to the question earlier you asked about um, WHO or UNAIDS, can they do much more on this? At very first, we didn't think about, um, so at the very first, we also think about why do we not uh, mention this more on World AIDS Day, but we want to differentiate it a bit more because for a World AIDS Day, uh, it has a lot of intersectionality around HIV that has, be has to be tackled on that day. So we unpack this very individual uh, component out of World AIDS Day and want to raise more awareness around U equals U for general population. Okay, so so you do you think it would be a good idea to have a one international day dedicated to this very thing, maybe by UNAIDS or WHO, <laughs> like just to raise awareness and put the focus on U equal to U as the, you have been doing at your level on 2nd July in your country? So yeah, I, I think maybe, um, maybe in the future it could be yeah. possible, but because uh, for people to talk about U equals U, uh, there is a precondition that you have to think about is uh, health equity because you need to give people treatment. And we're lucky that in Taiwan, most of the people are um, very, uh, the treatment is very accessible and also um, very available for most of the people. So I think uh, talking about U equals U are, are on a, a proper time in Taiwan, but for um, regions or places that you, um, that treatment is not that available. I think um, uh, talking about U equals you might be a, a, a more step forward for them after they reach the health equity in their, um, in, in their settings. So very important that you have pointed to health equity because health equity is very important. And again, that would lead to gender equity and gender equality also. And mm. uh, it is important for all of us uh, to be able to access uh, treatment and to access health services uh, to the to the best possible uh, ability. So uh, many thanks, Fletcher, for finding time to be with us today and for sharing these insightful thoughts about stigma, about criminalization, and unless we get rid of that, how will we we be able to achieve the SDG of ending AIDS by 2030? Uh, so friends, we were in conversation with Fletcher, Director of Communications at Persons with HIV AIDS Rights Advocacy Association of Taiwan. And I would like to reiterate what he had said, that there is strong scientific evidence that if persons with HIV are on life-saving and antiretroviral therapy and are virally suppressed, that is their viral load is negligible or undetectable then HIV cannot be transmitted from them to any uninfected person. In other words, treatment works as prevention and undetectable becomes untransmittable. We need to keep this in mind always. We conclude this session with the hope that U equal to U will become a reality for all persons with HIV. And that can be achieved only through, as Fletcher said, having health equity. So stay healthy and stay safe. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you very much.